Hey everyone, welcome to another update. This time I'm going to talk about the new slider rails in the game. So to start with, let's have a look at a simple example. Sliders attached to blocks and plates, either with a rigid attachment or with the new slider attachment, and you can cycle between those. If the rail is attached with a slider attachment, it can move relative to the block along the sliding direction like that. You can attach blocks to both sides of the slider rail, both with a slider attachment. And this gives you a longer range of, of sliding movement like that. But if you don't want that, you can always lock down one side to be rigid and leave the other side slider like that. And then the block will just move just to the end of the rail like that. Now sliders become a bit more interesting when you combine them with rack gears. So in this case, we have a slider that's attached to a block rigidly, and then this block is attached to it with a slider attachment. And then through these gears, we're going to drive these rack gears back and forth. Now this could be useful to create moving platforms or lifts or cranes and things like that. So here's an example of a uh, lift. And here we have a longer slider rail that's attached with a slider attachment to this block here. And then same again on this side. And then the platform is attached to the rail with a slider attachment here and here on the other side. And then you can see the uh, gear train from this motor is going to drive up, up these uh, rack gears here and lift the platform. So let's have a look at that. So here you can see this, the platform sliding up this rail. And then when it gets to the top, it's going to drag the rail up because it's also sliding against this block here. And that gives you a, a longer range of movement than if the rail was rigidly attached to one of the blocks. Okay, well, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching.